Hi, all you lovely kings, queens, and in-betweens. My name is Elaine, and today I'm going to be both reviewing and showing you how to play Abduction, a weirdly strategic duck kidnapping game, which was illustrated by Alina Litvinova. It's for ages 12 and up, should take about 15 to 25 minutes to play, and it's for one to four players. In this game, you are interning at the Abduction Lab's intergalactic UFO, where they know ducks make excellent research subjects. Thus, you'll be abducting ducks from their natural deep space habitats, for the lab to study. You're required to collect ducks in specific formations that are assigned to you. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to rearrange your ducks into the same color formations to match a formation card. Harder formations are worth more points, whoever scores the highest at the end of the game wins. Setup for the game is super easy, barely an inconvenience. First, everyone's going to pull 10 random ducks from the UFO and place them randomly on their boards. I like to have them all facing downstream, which I'll get into a little more later. Then you're going to create a deck of 12 shuffled formation cards and flip over the top three, placing them on the table so they're visible to everyone who is playing. During your turn, you'll try and rearrange your ducks to match one of these three formation cards. If you manage to do this, you get to collect the card. You begin your turn with three action cards. And you can use these action cards to manipulate the positions of the ducks on your board to try and match a formation card. For example, if I was this player, I could play a swap card. This allows me to switch the locations of two ducks that are next to each other on your board, either horizontally or vertically. This has completed the ducklings card, so I get to collect that card. Since I've managed to complete this card, I abduct these ducks, removing them from my board, and put them back into the UFO. Since I've collected a formation card, my turn is now over. At that point, I'm going to shift all of the ducks on my board downstream, just follow the arrows, and then fill the pond with new ducks taken from the UFO. Since a formation card was collected this turn, I'm going to flip a new one over. Then, since I use action cards, I'm going to draw another so that I have a hand of three. Then, it would be the player to my left's turn. Now, let's say it was my turn and I played this abduction card, which allows me to remove a duck from your or an opponent's board, then shift all remaining ducks downstream. Let's say I removed this duck. From there, I would shift my remaining ducks downstream, refill my empty pond with the new duck from the UFO, and continue to play my turn. If I run out of action cards, my turn is finished, even if I don't collect a formation card, and play would continue. Once the final formation card has been collected, the game ends. Then you're going to add up all the points on the formation cards you collected, and that's this number here, the plus six on the hatchlings, for example, and determine who has the highest score. That player is the winner. In the case of this particular match, it would be this player. Now that I've taken the time to show you all how to play the game, I want to take a few moments to provide my final thoughts on it. I'm a fan of this game. I like that it's family friendly. I like that it has a comfortable playtime, that it involves a certain degree of strategy. Do you go after the formations that are worth more points but might take multiple turns to earn or do you snag up the really easy to get ones and earn points quickly even though the points aren't worth as much at the end i like all the components in this game even though the ufo reminds me a bit of a dog toy i love the ducks even though some of them have some paint job problems the cards are a nice thick stock i love that they have rounded edges i like the simplistic art because it's bright and colorful and fits really well with the theme of the game i also like that they use larger text because it makes it much easier to read. But my personal favorite is how much fun you can have with the ducks outside of the game. You could have them hold a seance to summon a lost friend, engage in passionate love affairs, hold epic battles of epic proportions, build pyramids just like the Egyptians, full disclosure, ducks are not very good with shapes, and more. I absolutely adore this game and look forward to trying out the expansion sometime and seeing what that adds, and feel like this was one of the better investments I made in terms of board games this year. I feel like the price is spot on for the level of complexity in this game and the components that are found within it. And that's not something I feel like you see every day. And there you have it, my how to play and review of Abduction. What did you think of my review? Did I leave anything out? Do you like this game if you've tried it? Do you want to try it now that you've seen this review if you haven't already? Did you collect rubber duckies as a kid? Let me know down below in the comments. I always like to know what you kings, queens, and in-betweens think. And if you like what you saw here today, please smash that like button until it's blue. Subscribe, ring that bell so you always know what's up, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye guys! guys. Hi, Tisha Valenza, aka Poison Ivy, 
and you've just been watching King's Entertainment Reviews. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and watch.